Context capture tutorial on geolocation with April tags. Step one is to create a new project in context capture. Step two is to select tools, then create context capture targets and QR codes. Step three is to select the desired number and type of targets and then click generate. Step four is to print the targets and disperse them throughout the area of interest. Uh, if you're going to be using them for geolocation, ensure the target is surveyed and recorded. Step five is to capture the area of interest and then import those photos back into context capture. Step six is to submit an arrow triangulation and ensure that target extraction is set to the correct type for the targets used. Step seven is to open the survey tab and add the survey data to the corresponding points. Step eight is to run a final arrow triangulation using those control points for geolocation. And then step nine is to submit a final reconstruction. We will start in our new context capture project, going to the top toolbar to tools, and then create context capture targets and QR codes. We will then select our target type. In this case, it'll be April tags. April tags are good for aerial data sets because they can be recognized automatically from fewer pixels and QR codes. In this case, we will want three of these targets. And we will then create our tag. By default, they're gonna create in your project folder. So if we open our folder, we can preview one of our tags. Now that we have our tags generated, we will print them out. Uh, in this case, I just printed them out on a standard piece of eight and a half by 11 and disperse them throughout my scene. As we can see, they're forming a triangle around my subject here. We will then capture the site in this case, uh, we flew a drone around it, ensuring that the targets are well captured. Here's a, a look at some of our photos that we'll be working with. So we can take those and submit an arrow triangulation. The important setting here is the target's extraction. You want to set this for the type of target. In this case, it'll be the April tags. We can submit our arrow triangulation. And when it completes, uh, we can ensure our tags were correctly extracted by looking for the blocks in our splat preview. We can also go to our surveys tab and we can see that they were accurately located. We can also see what photos they were located in. Now that we have our targets extracted, by default, they will come in as tie points to control points. This is done by selecting the points, going to our pencil, and changing them in the drop down menu from tie points to control points. Once we have control points, we can then enter our survey information for each point. Once the survey information is entered, once our survey data is entered, we can then submit another AT. This time we want to use the control points for adjustment. We don't need to do the target extraction this time because it was already done. The points are being used as control points already. We will then submit this AT. And when that AT finishes, we can then submit a reconstruction. The end result of that reconstruction will be a geolocated model using the tags that you used. We can then do real world measurements, get coordinates, do distance. We can check volume or surface area.
And that is how you use April tags to geolocate a model in Context Capture.